<clears throat> All right. Today I want to talk about something that is really important. This is harmonic devices. We'll start with two chords. E minor and G. I really, really love that sound of lo-fi and, and kind of new soul. All these kind of very lushy sounds. But I want to understand how to get there because I think it's cool to just learn something but it's really really cool to understand a device and how we can actually use it. So what we're going to do is go over some steps of how to kind of pimp up this E minor and G from a triad to something a little bit more complex and then we also solo and use a few different centers to express these sounds. Let's do it. So the first thing, the first top I would say is I'll add the seventh. So I'll just loop these two chords. E minor 7, shell. And G major 7, shell. That's cool. It sounds nice, but this is not why we're here. Because I think we can go way, way uh, more extreme. And what I want to do is basically using the upper structure. What it is, is basically taking the 1, 3, 5, 7 of the chord and adding another third on top. So if our chord is E minor, Basically, if I'm doing that over E minor, E minor 7, I'm getting G major 7, that shape. So check this out. Mm. What I did is the same trick over the G major 7 chord. So what I'll get is basically, I'll loop this so you can hear it exactly. So we have, I'm gonna pause this for a second. So we have the chord E minor, right? One, three, five, seven. What I'm doing is I'm stacking another third on top. One, three, five, seven. This is the D, and then F sharp is the next third in the key of G major here. And what's happening, I'm just removing this E and behold, one, three, five, seven. This is basically. The G major seven. So I'm just instead of E minor seven, E minor seven nine. I'm just using this G major seven and playing the good old shape here. I'm doing the same trick with the G major seven. So if you have a question, what peak are you guys using? I'm really curious because I was trying a lot of things and I'm just curious what you guys think is the best. Please drop a comment and I want to kind of maybe explore new ideas peak wise. G major we. G major 7 shell, let's look at it here, 1, 3, 5, 7, and then I'm adding the next note, which is the A, right, so we have this kind of sound, and I'm just omitting the G, and look at this chord that I'm getting, this is B, D, F sharp, and A, which basically articulates B minor 7. on this big workshop that I'm really really excited to share if you guys are interested uh, check out this link and I'm gonna give discounts to everybody who uh, signs up there and I'll send you an email once it's out and it's gonna be very soon so I'm really excited so what I'm doing is exactly that I'm looping this this thing and I'm listening to to the parts as G major 7 to the B minor 7 very very cool but I want to take it even another step so this is kind of like root position right but I want to use inversion so check this out first inversion to third so I'm trying to find things that are melodically making sense I mean even I guess my first example was two second inversion here you can check the PDF if that's helpful so everything is clear let's loop this here these sounds kind of come together and make it so kind of magical 
The next step that we can go is instead of just playing the first upper structure, right? So this is E minor, so we play G, we can go another step forward. So we can play the B minor 7. How do I get there? Again, check this out. We had the E minor, and then we had the G major. And then I'm continuing stacking thirds. So I'm getting basically G major 7, 9. So at the end of the day, I'm basically getting a B minor. This is 1, 3, and this is the 5. So I'm basically getting this 7 chord over the B, the E minor. Check this out, how it sounds. Seven, we'll get a D major 7 triad. I'm gonna play this in inversion so it's a little softer. So I'll do this here. And maybe to this one. So I'm using third inversion to first inversion. I'll loop this and then we'll talk about it. Here we go. Oh, there is a PDF. For this video with all the voicings and chords and also with the worksheets so I know maybe some of these concepts are not the easiest the first time so I'm gonna have a worksheet with questions and answer there so you can practice it in this key and also in a few other keys so you can really make sure you understand the concept and then you can make cool music It doesn't, you don't also need everything at the same time, but it's cool how we can get from two simple chords, right? E minor, literally, and G major, to this kind of sound that is very dramatically different. And also the sounds allow us to go harmonically in different places, which brings me to the soul. So the first point of, of departure maybe is, is playing and using E minor pentatonic thinking about is, is, is kind of our center. So let's listen for a second. It's the same thing, it's still E minor, but you can hear the resolution on that G. So I think about the center as G for a second. So again, just listen one more time. And I added here a little, a little passing note. It was a little clashing with the D major because we have, uh, we have the, the D major 7, which has um, the C sharp, so which is a little clashy with the 4 there. But it's fine, it, if it's kind of passing out, it's okay, especially if you're kind of intending to do it. Um, to me, it was a little surprising, but it's cool. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, clash, nice. Next step, I'm gonna use the B minor pentatonic. So, it will give us a little different color. Check this out. from the upper structure. So I added a little bit of chromatic here, but still thinking about B minor pentatonic. Let's listen one more time, and now I'm gonna mix the E minor and B minor, kind of shifting between those two centers as colors. and still thinking about this E minor and B minor centers but adding chromaticism between those two chords.
so the goal here for me at least is trying to take these colors and find how you know how I can really push it and explore with those different colors and the concept of um, of taking something simple right again remind you we start here beat <laughs> and then one chord like these two chords right that's it that's what we had as, as a starting point and from that we got to this really lushy place that does allow us to go and explore more sounds that are chromatic and chromatic in the sense of color right it's kind of splashes of color at the end of the day music is is all about sounds and, and colors so it's really cool to to try and create things that support that if you need a pdf for this video you can please check it out and i hope this is all cool and helpful i'll see you guys in the next video